You might think you've got nerves of steel. This video was posted to the very spooky video subreddit by Pekonik. In the video, the likely US-based officer pulls over a driver at night, approaches the driver's side door with a flashlight to question him, but then never gets the chance. The dashcam footage shows what happens inside. A bright light bursts from the sky, causing the patrolman to stagger a little bit before he vanishes. Leaving a steaming clothes behind in a pile beside the vehicle, the car then speeds off, either out of fear for what just happened or to flee the scene. Having been an active participant in the officer's vaporization, we're left to wonder which it is. The clip first appeared on the YouTube channel from Tim Beckers, who said, I downloaded the video and shared it with a couple of my friends in the community, and they all told me the same. This footage looks real and it could change everything we know. What do you think? Could this be real or a clever fake? Ashley Ortega and her friend Corey are making a video about how to play with a Ouija board. Ashley claims to have some bad experiences with the board before and is hesitant about trying it again. The curiosity gets the best of her and they start asking questions. After a while, they think they're communicating with an 84-year-old male spirit who refuses to provide much information. It seems to select letters at random or doesn't respond at all, but Ashley knows something is near and starts shaking. It then correctly tells Ashley how old she is and says that it watches her. I'm done. I'm done. I'm so... I'm done. Oh. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. No, 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 let's ask it. They continue to ask for more information and get some predictions about Ashley's future. It's impossible to verify if these predictions will come true or not. However, this does happen shortly before they conclude the session. Your nose is bleeding. Your nose is bleeding. Let me know if you've had anything similar happen to your nose while playing with a Ouija board. If you've ever wondered whether or not exorcisms are real, here is your answer. Published to YouTube in April of 2020, the supposedly possessed woman in the video is making hissing and rasping noises as her exorcist lays a hand on her. Another young man holds her wrists. She opens her mouth like a snake, ready to strike, while she continues to hiss and rasp at them. In a second clip, her expression appears almost normal for a moment, but a second later, her eyes roll into the back of her head and she hisses strangely, arching her back until her body is up from the couch. Before slumping over, like the demon has left her. You may be skeptical about possessions, but this woman does not look like she is acting. We can only hope the demon did leave and is gone for good. Archie Dennis is the name of a Philadelphia man who lives in what he believes is an extremely haunted home. He and his family have been dealing with whatever's down there for more than seven years. It's all well documented on their YouTube channel. I encourage you to watch all the evidence for yourself. But for now, Chills has picked out some videos to help get you started. Ones that make me the most curious. This early encounter takes place on May 17th, 2013. Back when he was less used to it and more afraid. Arky is looking down the steps when something on his spirit box encourages him to go in there, followed by a mysterious phrase in another language that I need your help to translate. You are demon. You are a demon. Arky says down the steps. It sounds like a statement, but it's actually a question. Something he has always wanted to know. It never says anything back, but this time it does show a sign that yes, it is one indeed. The light turns on behind him, even though he is nowhere near the switch, and it continues to do so as he films in stunned amazement. Who are you? Say your name. 
suddenly his cats rush up the steps like they are running away from something. Though I suspect they could have been chasing each other. He crosses the room at 1 minute and 48 seconds. The lights seem to move on their own while an orb also comes close. It can't be him moving the lights because one hand is on the camera and the other is flipping the switch to no avail. I was thinking that maybe somebody was controlling the real light switch from the other room. But at 1 minute and 58 seconds the light seems to glow even brighter than before and he sounds noticeably upset as he steps away. Oh man. Oh. His fear has probably emboldened the spirit and things have gone way too far if you ask me. He should leave it by now but day after day, our key continues to ask the spirit if it was a demon whenever he thinks it's near pestering it with the same question for weeks on end. Finally, on December 16th, 2014, it gives a clear response, and I'm talking more than a simple yes or no. The way it answers in a full sentence exactly 5 seconds after being asked is all about the paranormal proof I need to conclude this is real. But I haven't even shown you the weirdest video yet. By October 12th of 2019, the spirit has moved out of the basement and seems fixated with his children. The EMF meter is relatively normal until it passes over his crib, and I think we might be seeing a possession in real time. 4.9, that's for my baby. 3.7, 3.9, 4.0, 3.8. Four point two nine nine. Oh man, this is this, this is incredible. And his newborn baby is not the only one affected. The spirit seems to hover around his daughter as well. The way it appears from behind, goes to the side, and then appears to admire her is going way too far, if you ask me. I don't know why Arky hasn't moved out yet, but I suspect that he may be strangely obsessed with studying it, and at this point possibly even has become sentimental. Maybe it has gotten into his mind, much like it has his family, and convinced him to let it stay. This final CCTV video is when Arky gets all of the evidence that he needs. I don't know if this is editing or not, but one day he is organizing his closet when a shadow figure stands over him and makes him cower in fear. If this last video is real, which I think it could be given everything else that's happened, then I guess it proves talking to a demon for over 5 years is, in fact, going way too far. A kid making a funny face is overshadowed by a creepy figure levitating behind him with its head down. This picture is actually 7 years old and Reddit still argues about whether this is a ghost sighting or not. Plenty of people see a ghost girl wearing a grey dress who looks to be going into the next room. However, another theory is that a stuffed toy was being thrown behind the boy and its movement through the air is what creates its strange motion blur. Another explanation is that this was a woman throwing her jacket on in the background. According to the uploader, this house is haunted and mysterious figures are seen here all of the time, along with scary noises and other strange happenings. With that said, I tend to believe this paranormal explanation the most, because when you look under the figure, you'll see they cast no reflection on the wood grain floor. A very similar sounding shriek to the so called cougar. This one claims the sound is coming from none other than a monster from traditional Latin America folklore known as La Llorona. According to legend, La Llorona was the unloved mother of her two sons. Her husband loved his sons more than her and also had an affair with another woman, causing La Llorona to break. She is said to have taken the lives of her two boys in a river in a rage, following them in grief by taking her own alongside their bodies. Now she wanders the earth in search of the souls of her sons. 
The terrifying wailing of her grief is heard throughout Latin America. Those who hear her cries are said to face misfortune or even have their lives taken. So maybe just to be on the safe side, turn down the volume for this one. Published to YouTube in September of 2018, the horrifying demonic scream at the start of the video definitely doesn't sound human. In fact, it makes you want to urge whoever is filming to get someplace safe, fast. Instead, he films outside on the rain-filled streets at night as La Llorona screeches demonically in an animalistic cry. Shortly after, a more human-like women's weeping is heard. The man approaches the phantom voice in the darkness. It's difficult to make out a figure in all this, but he speaks to her and she responds, which makes one think this is a real human woman making these sounds, not La Llorona after all. After a while of the man chatting back and forth with her and then answering his radio, the woman falls silent. Barry in the comments says, I understand Spanish. She seems to have multiple personalities. Was that inhuman sound made by a human person? Someone with multiple personalities? Perhaps someone possessed? Or is this La Llorona in the flesh? Police in Michigan need to find a woman who has fallen from a dock through the ice before it's too late. The officer comes across two fishermen holding on to a poor woman who fears for her life. If they let go, she's going under. There's little time left. She's freezing. Hypothermia is the name for a dangerous drop in body temperature from prolonged exposure to cold. You can lose your life from it in as little as five minutes. You got a hold of her? Signs of hypothermia include red skin, fatigue, and numbness. I'm Take numb. a hand. Take I'm one. completely <clears throat> numb. So it's not looking good for her. Her core body temperature is lowering. Her organs are slowly turning off to preserve heat and protect the brain. They have one last chance to save her. It's too hard. You can't. Come on! All right, stay right here. Stay right here. I'm stuck. Grab a hold. One, two, three, up! The police take over and get the job done in moments. One of the fishermen, an older gentleman, is absolutely exhausted and unable to stand by the time it's through. He and his friend are absolute heroes for not letting go until the police arrived, which actually took 15 minutes but to them felt like five. The woman later said she was starting to lose consciousness, a sure sign that she couldn't have withstanded much longer in that cold water. Hopefully we can all learn from the scariest moments of her life and always be careful when fishing on the dock. Had other people not been around to help, she would have been lost beneath the ice. Have you heard of the Fresno Nightcrawler? The cryptoid in question was first caught on video surveillance in Fresno, California. It appears extraterrestrial, looking akin to a long pair of white pants with a tiny head. The figure in this video, published in April of 2020, certainly fits that description. The home surveillance footage from Billings, Montana purportedly captures this bizarre creature. Claudia writes, the figure appears in the top right corner at the 22nd mark along with sounds that seem to match a pig or some kind of mammal. Right before the timestamp in question, a car appears to drive near the property off camera, casting light into the yard. That's when you see the figure at the top right corner, which looks like it has two legs. Seeming to be scared into stillness, it soon scurries out of sight. If not the Fresno Nightcrawler, what do you think this is? It looks like no mountain lion I've ever seen. Will you expect to find some creepy stuff in an abandoned funeral home? Abandoned remains are probably not among the usual suspects. Published to YouTube by RNK All Day in March of 2020, the channel writes, We found ashes inside an abandoned funeral home that was condemned due to the funeral director leaving and hiding bodies. It was located in North Carolina. 
It was closed down in 2012 after client complaints. The funeral home's former owner was put behind bars for not burying the individuals. RNK all day explores this home and its unnerving history. Amongst the creepy things found inside are Polaroids of the passed on individuals and a squatter's bed made up inside the building. But of course, the most unsettling thing they encountered was a bag of ashes in a torn cardboard box. According to a timestamp on the box, they were from 1995, meaning they've remained there for over two decades. Let's hope they finally received a proper burial. The next time you're relieved to find yourself alone in an empty subway car, consider that maybe you're not alone at all. Published to YouTube in June of 2015, this clip shows a subway car that will give you the chills. A lone man sits abroad the haunted car. After watching the clip, we wonder if he's the sole passenger, because this car has a reputation for being haunted. Because look at this darkened window pane to the left. A scary, distorted face appears here, changing expression slightly as the man sits on the opposite side, completely unaware. The face disappears and the window pane goes black again, but the distortion later reappears, looking equally upsetting. What do you think is going on here? Is this an actual face in the window, or just a trick of the light coupled with motion from the subway? If you saw this on the horizon, you may think some serious stuff is going down. Post it to the very spooky video subreddit by RavenTexX. The redditor writes, Is this recent? Looks real. The footage shows a dark and stormy scene with heavy clouds on the horizon, and in their midst a blinding beam of light. The light brightens and recedes more, but stays in the sky for quite some time before zapping out, leaving the night in total and utter darkness. While well, life forms outside of this planet could very well exist, some Redditors have other explanations. Greg the Chief writes, It could be a Transformer. I worked as an electrician the past few years. I never saw something that size, but electric energy has more power than most people think. Since I'm not an electrician, I wouldn't know for sure. But that sounds like a pretty rational explanation. There's an old abandoned bus in the woods that's supposed to be haunted. According to legend, the school wanted to get rid of the bus after someone lost their life on the way home. It switched ownership a few more times before a ghost hunter purchased it for a low price. He's out randomly recording it one day when all of a sudden he hears this. The man recording says that he does not have any children, and that he is on his large wooded property all by himself. I will say that the voice does sound like it's coming from inside of the bus, or at least someplace close. I guess he could have a daughter or something who is hiding inside, but probably not. Then, as he is walking closer to the bus, he suddenly hears this very clearly. This could be a prank, but it could also be the ghost of a girl who does not know that she has passed on. She apparently tries to get his attention by cheerfully saying hello, but he runs away, leaving her behind in her rotting bus. If you're looking for a haunted location, your best bet is to choose somewhere with a scary history. Steve Ronan, an American urban explorer, traveled to the United Kingdom to investigate a Victorian-style mansion, believed to be the site of a gruesome taking of life. Despite its longevity, the event took place in 2006, when then-homeowner Christopher Lumsden ended his wife's life in a jealous rage. She had allegedly just returned from dinner with her lover when the incident occurred. Despite the viciousness of the event, Lumsden only served five and a half years when he was released on license, the British legal system's equivalent of parole. Intrigued by the story, Ronan decided to investigate at the home in order to see if he could come up with answers. Upon arrival, the front of the house is littered with large trash, including several beds, some broken walls, and what appears to be clothing. At the time the video was filmed, renovations were ongoing to prepare the house to be put up for sale. 
It is unknown if the trash was from the house itself or was left there randomly, but it would be strange if so many pieces of clothing were left behind. The first bit of the video is Ronan and his team exploring the house, finding it in a state of disrepair. At one point, they find a strange piece of wallpaper on the floor. The same system is seen covering the walls of a room. Written on it are various strange phases, including Carpe Diem Dungeons Fire, Jungle Truth or Dare Power. What this means is a mystery, and it's a strange design to have as a wallpaper. Things quickly take a turn for the creepy when they find a red stain on the floor of one of the rooms in front of a dresser. On closer inspection, it is a sizable red blot stained into the floorboard that was once beneath the now torn up carpet. It definitely is believable that it's what we're all thinking, since the coloration does resemble when such a stain has aged over time. One of the crew decides to shine a UV light on the spot. As he explains, the spot remains visible as a dark purple under the light, instead of blending into the floor. Also, while it is not mentioned, there are spots that weren't visible when the light wasn't on. Going off the find, they decide to begin a spirit box session in the room. The method they use is simple, as they find a radio and rapidly shift through the channels. After a couple of questions and one false alarm, a voice comes through the static saying, You were tricked. You were tricked. Did you just hear you were tricked? This is strange as immediately before that, they were discussing whether or not they were deceived into believing another house entirely was the location of the gruesome life taking. At the beginning of the video, they spoke with a security guard of another residence who claimed the occupied house was the actual location of the incident. However, they were not allowed in and went to this house nearby that is also said to be where the incident happened. Could it be possible they are communicating with something who knows they were tricked? The group hears various answers come through the radio, although admittedly it is hard to hear whether it is actually something answering them or simply words from the radio programs coming through and sounding like answers. Next, the group decides to conduct an EVP session to see if they can hear anything else. During the session, the group hears noises and something like shuffling is picked up on the EVP. At this time, nobody in the room is moving or talking. They also hear something that sounds like chewing or moving their mouth. After asking a question, some sort of faint whisper can be heard right before the next question is asked. If so, who was the one who murdered you? Unfortunately, it's too difficult to decipher what, if anything, is being said as it is too quiet. After nothing else seems to come through, finally the group uses an actual spirit box, which automatically and rapidly changes stations so quickly you can't hear what is being said by the program. Ronan asks if anyone can tell what happened and if there was an event of a life being taken. Soon after, a voice comes through with what sounds like yes, immediately followed by what sounds like someone died. Soon, a male voice comes through with what Ronan thinks sounds like wasn't me. I have so much the moment that is guaranteed to send chills down your spine is when a woman, either laughing, crying, or possibly screaming, can be heard. <laughs> the investigation wraps soon after, and Ronan leaves with what could be considered valuable evidence. The event that occurred in the home has left an imprint, and not just the stain on the floor. Someone is watching you. Published to YouTube by Finders Beepers History Seekers in August of 2020. The channel writes, Matt and Andy are reunited in this week's Creepy Explorer in an abandoned care home that was shut down for reports of terrible living conditions. Although it was shut down, maybe something paranormal stuck around. About 20 minutes into the edited video, the pair are headed up the stairs when they see this. Smile. 
Panning up to the second level, a figure moves across the upper hallway in the darkness, unbeknownst to Mike and Andy. The shadowy menace was clearly watching them. The pair calls out to the person, but no answer. They consider backing down, but they think there's someone on the bottom floor as well. They decide to take their chances upward, but when they head up there, they find there's no one on the landing. And in fact, that landing where the figure crossed over doesn't even lead to another room. There's no way out. Some in the comments think the figure was the spirit of a former patient or a staffer. Open Paranormal writes, I think you just caught some of the best paranormal activity I've ever seen. There's clearly no one around, but you could clearly see a shadow of someone up there. We'd have to agree, this one seems genuine. When you hear something outside and you don't know what it is, it's probably best not to go in search of it. That's what YouTuber Leviathan did in January of 2020 writing. We've been hearing chilling sounds from Barn, and we decided to investigate. What we've seen lurking in there was petrifying. Is there someone who is able to identify the creature? The video shows the pair walking through the darkness in the woods at night. They enter a wooden barn and are shortly met by this terrifying rattling howl. When the thing starts banging around the barn, the pair of thrill seekers don't stay long enough to find out what was making that noise. Who can blame them? Would you want to face whatever is making this sound? In the nighttime darkness? Me neither. When you're in the middle of the woods, alone and defenseless, the last thing you want to hear is this. <coughs> This horrifying sound, according to its uploader, is a cougar mating call. But what it sounds like is a woman shrieking for her life in fear or inexplicable horror, coupled with the moaning, horn-like sound of an unknown creature. If you hadn't been told this was a cougar, how would you feel hearing this in the middle of the woods? <coughs> I mean, maybe it's just more horrifying knowing that it is a cougar, as it might just go for your face. Redditor Eli uses Reddit shares his opinion saying, Hearing this without thinking it's a cougar would honestly make me blank myself, with many in the thread agreeing with that summitation. Others liken the sound to a woman having her life taken, while some think it sounds like a zombie breakout or a banshee. Further in the thread, however, Redditor the Lil Hedgehog claims that this sound is not in fact a cougar, but rather really is the sound of a woman shrieking from some police body cam footage, which has been dubbed into the video. Does anyone familiar with animal sounds know what a cougar shriek actually sounds like? Whether or not it's a cougar, I'd have to agree that if I heard this noise in the forest, I would surely panic. The story of the Watts family is a terrible and horrific incident most are familiar with, and which I've talked about a couple times in videos. But this footage is a little different. As many of you know, Chris Watts took the lives of his pregnant wife and two daughters in Frederick, Colorado in August of 2018. It's a horrifying event that appears to have called up some terrible energy within the Watts family home. Posted to YouTube by Conjure Queen Tours, who states that she's a medium psychic and empath in her comments. This footage purports to show ghostly images and EVP picked up by police cameras within the Watts family home. From figures in the mirrors to giggling girls, the cops come across some eerie things inside the home. According to some in the comments, many cultures cover mirrors when there's a passed away person in the home as they believe the souls can get trapped in mirrors and thereafter never leave. Is that what's happening here? Most in the comments agree that they feel unsettled just watching the video. Others say you can feel the negative energy in the house, and it feels alive. More even admit that this video left the hairs standing up on the back of their neck. The police as well appear to feel it as they search the home, first for clues, and later when they were called by neighbors who claimed a female intruder had entered the premises. YouTuber Miss So Is Your Face writes, I've never seen a video where you can feel the energy. Wow. Can you feel it? I certainly can. When you're driving home exhausted at the end of the long day, 
Stay conscious and keep your eyes peeled. You might just see this. This supernatural clip was posted in April of 2020, claiming it's a real sighting on a haunted roadside. So let's take a look and see for ourselves. The clip shows someone driving down a dirt road in the near darkness. As they turn a corner, a dark figure barely visible can be seen crossing the path. On closer inspection, the figure looks long-limbed and big-eyed with a strangely shaped skull. It crosses slowly before sitting down at the side of the road. If human, what is this strange behavior? If not, any theories as to what this creature might be? Whether paranormal or some earthly figure, running into this near dusk might be enough to end your life. Beyond this fence lays an abandoned asylum that a YouTuber named TGF Bro and his friends badly want to explore. The inside looks like a tattered mansion on the verge of collapse. Strange noises follow them as they progress deeper into the interior of the asylum. When they get deep enough, TGF Bro pulls out a Ouija board and begins directing questions to whoever or whatever is near. If there's anybody there, please move the trial to yes. The group hears a loud bang directly behind them, and they all take off. I noticed that the third person was off camera though, so maybe that person made the commotion and then acted scared. Then again, old asylums are supposed to be notoriously haunted, so I wouldn't be surprised if the Ouija board really did bring spirits near. Working car parks aren't the most comfortable places in the light of day, so what happens when you enter an abandoned one in the darkness underground? Published to YouTube by Nellis in August of 2016, this video will make underground car parks seem even more terrifying. Nellis writes, This is the scariest haunted abandoned place we've ever visited. The car park was in connection to a haunted hotel his crew had visited in Bosnia. He says that this video is even scarier than his two-part series about the hotel. So let's see what's hiding down in this car park. The car park has clearly long been abandoned, overgrown grass at the entrance and rubble inside. As they descend into the pits of creepy, on one wall is a handprint, as though someone smeared something on the wall. It looks like something red. Nellis shines a flashlight into the dark and spots a bag. The crew hears something down in the car park, prompting Nellis to greet the darkness asking if there's anyone down there to give them a sign. If there's anyone in here, give us a sign. A sound is heard, although it's not clear what it could be coming from. He continues to shine his flashlight all along the gap to the car park to see if anything is moving. They hear some more noises, repeated taps, His friend speaks in Bosnian, likely again questioning whether or not anyone is there. On closer inspection of the underground, they spot a door and recently eaten food. They continue down to the bottom of the incline and throw stuff at the bag they'd seen earlier. While looking deeper into the car park, they don't open the bag, but Nellis says it appeared like someone was sleeping down here, or otherwise staying here, as though they found food canisters and towels. As they again hear something in the darkness, they decide it's time to move it on out of there. Nellis says it sounds like something scraping the floor. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I heard something, I heard something. I heard something, come on. Wait, wait, wait. Whether human, animal, or something supernatural, leaving this place with only one way out was probably the best course of action. If you like to scrounge for snacks at night, this video will have you second guessing that midnight snack.
posted to Reddit by Better Than Better, the home security footage reveals a dark and seemingly empty kitchen at night. Around 30 seconds in, a man trudges in and opens the fridge to get a snack. While the man is standing at the fridge, drinking something, watch the teddy bear on the kitchen table. It starts moving ever so slightly, bobbing up and down, but that's not all. When the man closes the fridge and turns to leave, the baby walker next to the table does this, confused about whether he saw what he thinks he saw. The man doesn't take his eyes off the baby walker as he leaves the room, but he returns a short time later, his wife by his side, presumably to explain what happened. As he's indicating that the baby walker moved of its own accord, the teddy bear falls over, or rather seems to fly backwards. As the wife jumps out of the room and the man approaches the bear, two of the chairs tucked under the table spring out simultaneously. If that isn't enough to scare you out of your own home, I don't know what is. I believe dealing with an incident like this is something 99% of people couldn't handle. A girl named Jessie and her friend decide to try and summon spirits at a playground at 3 in the morning. The video starts off very lighthearted as Jessie plays on the monkey bars and her friend makes jokes, but soon things get much more serious. They've just barely started when they hear a strange noise and whip around. Did you hear that? Yeah. They shine their flashlights on the playground tubes, but don't see anything. The two friends sit back down and start again. It isn't long before they've made contact. Is there anyone here that would like to contact us? Are you doing that? No, are you? No. The spirit identifies itself only as D and refuses to say its real name at first, but then says that it is the infamous demon, Mama. Then it says that there are three of them, all watching. Now strange noises are happening all around them. So your name's not Mama. Oh my god! <gasps> Didn't you hear that? No. Mama. Apparently, their idea of summoning harmless children at a playground is turning out to be more serious than they thought. Mama starts to recite the alphabet backwards and then starts to count down the numbers, which Jesse's friend says is a way for the demon to get out of the board. Before they get a chance to move the pointer over goodbye, Sammy drops to the ground. This is what the camera records. <laughs> oh, holy <laughs> shut the <laughs> Jesse just got possessed. Are you kidding? You were laughing like really weird and Are you serious? Yeah. Like I don't even remember like playing the Ouija board. She wakes up with no recollection of what happened. Hopefully, if this video is real, the demon left her alone after that, though we'll never know for sure. It could still be inside of her, waiting for the right moment to reveal itself again. A YouTuber named Hunting the Dead dares to play with a Ouija board inside of his own home. Aside from using the board itself, he also has a ghost hunting device which scans different frequencies for any signs of the paranormal. He begins asking questions out loud, and it isn't long before he gets a fairly clear response. Is there evil in this home? The spirit then begins highlighting the same number three times in a row. Six. Holy shit. Six. Six. Hunting the dead soon finds out exactly who the spirit is and what it wants. Zozo. Do you want to attack me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's on, yes, it went on. Shortly afterwards, Hunting the Dead begins to feel gravely ill and needs to go to the hospital. Kelsey Davies goes exploring an eerie lake in the woods, a strange place that's claimed too many lives not to be haunted. People are getting trapped under the ice here and never coming back. She wants to communicate with their spirits to learn more. It isn't long until they've caught some bizarre paranormal activity on camera for us to analyze. It doesn't look too deep, but you could totally get trapped under the ice, you know? Near the lake, they encounter a revolting smell that makes Kelsey cover her nose. 
Evil spirits are said to sometimes secrete bad odors if they come nearby, which is why I think it's no coincidence when this happens next. Oh. <laughs> A twig snaps underfoot, and as they huddle close, all eyes looking in the direction where the lake is, a sweeping shadow passes in front of the camera, followed by scary sounds coming from the woods near the lake. <gasps> that sounded like a scream. Yeah, in the distance. Yeah. Was this forest scream the same sound someone once made as they fell through the ice? A final surprise noise they are now doomed to repeat as a ghost, and as they strain their ears in the darkness, more ghost EVPs are caught on camera. Oh. Yeah, I bet there's Dude. You guys, like, laughing. You hear that? Yeah. <laughs> Shortly after they hear a voice whisper, the camera blurs like a ghost is standing between them. Sounds like someone's up there. Even though it's never had a problem focusing up until this point in the video, this keeps happening for a full minute and then stops. I'm guessing when the spirit finally walks away, as they go exploring the haunted lake, their paranormal sixth sense is confirmed by extremely bizarre camera malfunctions that are too strange to be a coincidence. Do you want to try the Necrophonic app over here? Ooh. Whoa, my camera's like super blurry. It smelled really bad with that. Wait, what? I had a whiff of something really bad. Kelsey's camera goes out of focus at the same time her friend smells a rotting stench walk by, and when it goes away, the camera comes back into focus on its own. Her friend isn't even looking at the camera, so there's no way she could have known to say that. When they discover a discarded pair of sandals nearby, it becomes a clear possibility that they are being led to the site of someone's demise. Look. There's just flip-flops. And as they get freaked out and walk back to their car, it seems as if the party of three has grown one larger. Hopefully. <gasps> what was that? Was that you? Holy what the f was that? Robin Adri is the name of a YouTube channel with an interesting Ouija board experiment at 3 a.m. Is there any spirits out here that would like to contact us? They try to get the ghost to spell its name, but the session gets off to a bad start after they complain about how slow the ghost is at spelling. This seems to aggravate the spirit, and it asks to speak with Rob's twin brother Steven by spelling its name over and over again. The spirit goes on to profess that it does not have good intentions for his brother Steve. Do you want to hurt Steven? After a while, the Ouija board stops spelling Steven long enough to spell out Zozo instead. They eventually end the session properly, and even get assured that they will be left alone in the future. You said that you will not haunt us, right? Thank you so much, we really appreciate it. But it seems as though Zozo may have been luring them into a false sense of security. As they are leaving, they see a rattlesnake nearby, and it seems to be paying special attention to Steven. Rob and Adri are convinced that Zozo was sending them a warning sign in the form of a serpent, but I think this could also just be a coincidence. Let me know what you think. Two hikers are alone in the woods when they hear this startling noise. My phone's about to die anyway. There's a couple things that make me think that this video could be fake upon closer inspection. Listen to what he says after he hears the noise. I don't want to be out here like that. So there it is again, through that. I mean, if I had just heard something that was that loud, I don't think I'd ask the person next to me if they heard it too. It seems like an obvious question. How 
Maybe if we just went a bit further up, we might see something. Also, sometimes the mysterious sounds don't seem to match their reactions. Like here, for instance, she asks, what was that, when nothing was playing? What was that? Sometimes they talk during the noise too, which doesn't seem realistic because most people would probably stop talking and just listen. Tell me if you agree with this logic or not. Could that flicker of light you see fast past be someone's soul? Published to YouTube by Tomato Superman to the Ghosts subreddit. This security footage from the Golden Cross Weather Spoon in Broomsgrove in the UK shows just what happens in old haunted places after dark. The security footage reveals a strange, iridescent pink light flash around the corner and down the hallway before vanishing. Tomato Superman says that he's a skeptic but admits he found this odd. He writes that the place has been closed for three weeks and that the alarms had gone off, which is why staff came in to check it out. This is what happens in the recording that seems to set off the alarms. He said the security system also started to break down immediately after. Many in the comments aren't sure what to think either, although some lean hard into the spirit world. And could this be something similar? A spirit making its presence known in this place? It certainly doesn't look like your everyday dust orb. You may remember me talking about D Menace in a previous video, but I wanted to give this video a further analysis. To describe D Menace in short terms, the best would probably be Adrenaline Junkie. First appearing on YouTube in 2018, he has posted a variety of videos from conducting one breath dives to venturing deep into tight caves. His videos are not for the faint of heart and can distress people with the feats he conducts. He has also also posted several urban exploration videos. In June 2020, D ventured into an abandoned malt factory complex with several buildings to explore. All alone, he traveled through the dark and derelict halls. For the first half of the video, nothing particularly strange happens. D ventures through the various passages and even into the basement, finding strange and even beautiful graffiti on the walls. As he approaches the stairs to the basement, he feels apprehension as, in his words, the walls and ceiling begin to resemble the altered state of Silent Hill when it transitions to Otherworld. I think I reached a really dangerous and scary part here because it's starting to feel and look exactly, but exactly like in Silent Hill. After some time, he decides to continue down the depths. Here, he finds a red bed or chair, something that gives him the creeps. Written on it in German is, raise your legs and chill. He continues to explore the basement, but is in a constant state of discomfort from the darkness and his mind playing tricks on him. Therefore, he decides to head back upstairs. He then states part of what creeps him out about this place is the lack of wildlife residing in the building. Unlike other places he's explored, he hasn't seen a single bird or rodent since arriving. As he makes his way into the second part of the complex, he begins to feel more anxious, hearing noises around him. He admits he is unaware if it is because he is simply spooked or if there is another person inside with him. Not long after making this statement, D discovers he is, in fact, not alone in the complex. As he is showing the view out the window, a man suddenly and casually walks out from the trees. Completely oblivious, D sees and is recording him. The man walks calmly to the same building D is in, but D is clearly nervous and says he hopes the man does not have ill intent. He then hears the man speaking, but it is unknown to whom. After, D becomes quiet, listening and acting increasingly anxious. Soon he enters a similar room to where he first saw the man walking up and is startled to see a pair of legs on the other side of a hole in the wall. He quickly quiets down and kneels, but realizes the man must have heard him as the legs retreat in the opposite direction. Realizing the risk of this situation, he decides to try and exit the building. 
However, as he approaches a corner, the man emerges and pushes D to the ground. After some exchanged words, the two men calm down and discover it was a simple misunderstanding. The other individual, named Jonathan, is just another urban explorer who is also unsure of Dee's intentions. Luckily this time, for both men, neither were there for anything bad and were just wanting to check the place out. Dee's video is a wake-up call for anyone intending to do their own exploration or even ghost hunts. Abandoned buildings pose all sorts of hazards, mostly from the decaying condition of the structures posing physical hazards. What is often overlooked is the possibility possibilities of others in the building who could potentially be living there or committing unsavory deeds away from prying eyes. Both Dee and Jonathan were justified in their suspicion of each other and on this occasion were able to laugh it off and even continue to explore the building together. It is likely this made the adventure safe as the two would now be able to look out for one another in case an accident occurred. It goes as a reminder to how the paranormal is not the only thing to be afraid of on these tours. Dee was definitely thanking his lucky stars he stumbled across Jonathan as both explorers decided to head into the basement as Dee felt it was better to have company. Down there, they find spray cans, a piece of a bicycle body, and a package. However, down a deep corridor, D finds a bone. While it could be misinterpreted for human, Jonathan points out it doesn't appear to be. On analysis, it more so resembles one someone would give their dog to chew on. Regardless, D decides to leave the bone there. Certainly an adrenaline inducing adventure this time. And thankfully, D made a new friend to explore with. Still goes to show how careful one must be about the place they explore, as well as who might be in it. This ghost sighting will send chills down your spine. Published to YouTube by TechWorld TV in August of 2014, this video shows a haunted Hindu cremation site. A man arrives at this site in India to investigate a local story. According to the man, he was walking down this dirt road when he saw an entity at this place. The investigator explains that passed away individuals are taken there for their last rites. Nobody lives here, apart from packs of stray dogs. As the man navigates around the puddles on the wet road to approach the ceremonial sites, dogs start barking like crazy at a distance. In this place. This place. Then the man shouts that he just saw an entity floating from the building further back. Upon closer inspection of the video, you can see the white vapor the man is talking about. It appears in the darkness under the veranda before floating up and then vanishing. While some point out the vapor moves simultaneously with the camera. One Redditor, Ricky Jaikaran notes, I would have said it was a smudge on the camera if the dogs hadn't started to bark at the same time. What do you think? Coincidence or a spirit ascending? The origins of this video are mysterious, and the footage even more so. Published to YouTuber Cheebonk182, the short clip is entitled Kuyang Dayak. The video shows what appears to be a beast human behind a cage. The creature seems to have an animalistic body, although no animal on earth has ever looked like this. <laughs> While its ghost white face is that of a human male's, with long shaggy brown hair, the face looks perturbed by chit-chatting of the onlookers, to say the least, but it just continues to lie there on the blue flowered sheet, its limbs moving slightly also known as the Krasu in Cambodian mythology and Krasu in Laos. The Kuyang spirit is ubiquitous across the folklore of Southeast Asia. The figure appears with the head of a woman with its internal organs trailing below her. Is that what it is meant to be? If not, then what in the world is it? A thing of myth and legend or not? This clip does one thing right, it makes you shudder in horror. If you're thinking of taking your motorbike down a dark, mainly deserted road at night, you'd better be ready for what comes next. Published to YouTube by Mumbiker Nikhail. To YouTube in December of 2014, another strange sighting was spotted while riding on a cold night. The uploader writes, I was passing by Airy Colony after midnight and I would like to share the scary incident which took place. He notes in the video that the area is known for its ghost stories. 
and scary people who lurk nearby. Nikhail says he wasn't sure if what he saw was a thief or a ghost, but whatever it was, it was scary. Thieves and ghosts aren't the only scary things about Airy Colony. Located in India's Sanjay Gandhi National Park, Wikipedia warns against traveling. The deciduous forest between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. As there are many feral pigs, stray dogs, and even leopards in the thick vegetation along the lonely roads. Worse, life takings are not uncommon in the area. Neither are occult practices. Ghost stories are widely circulated, with many claiming that spirits have tried to hitch rides in the night in this area. So yeah, why not take a ride down it? Though it is late, vehicles pass Nikhail by as he rides down the dark road. There are even people standing on the shoulder at some points. As he continues driving, darkness envelopes until he sees a man walking strangely in the middle of the road. He cries out as he almost collides with the man. But when he turns around, no one is there at all. He said he turned out of curiosity, but then realized the guy could be a thief, though he didn't see him anywhere in the darkness. So he sped off to live another day, and he says he's never returning to the area again after midnight. Would you? Based on what Wikipedia said, it's not a good idea. What would you do if you got a gut feeling that someone was standing behind that shower curtain? Post it to the Chills Narrator subreddit. Lucky1196 writes, Don't know if this is real or not, but kinda creepy AF. The clip shows the homeowner approach his bathroom, clearly uncertain whether or not someone is hiding in their shower. Like a band-aid, the person yanks the shower curtain in one fell swoop, only to find no one there. But that's not where this ends. In that moment, the light above goes out, making him spring backward from the bathroom. He tries to light the switch several times, but the bathroom light doesn't turn back on. As the shop pulls back into the bathroom, peering closer at the medicine cabinet, the man enters, and the light above starts to flicker again, drawing his attention upward. That's when he captures this horrifying figure on camera. <laughs> While most in the comments doubt this is real, some give it kudos and call it kinda a nightmare. But Redditor Dremrigo says it best, that one genuinely gave me chills, real or fake. April and Kevin of a YouTube channel called AK Explorations team up with some of their ghost hunting friends to take on the Florida Grand Opera House, a historic location established in 1884 that is rumored to have acquired quite a few spirits. Over the past 135 years, April stands behind the scenes and gazes upon a row after row of empty seats. She's busy taking in the sights when she captures this paranormal moment on camera. At 4 minutes and 48 seconds, a shadow figure walks between the red curtains on the other side of the opera. I was thinking that this could have just been the shadow of one of the other people she was with, except for three things. First, there's also a passing shadow on her side of the room at 4 minutes and 46 seconds. It happens next to her, in exactly two seconds before it happens again on the other side of the room. Second, there's a really weird noise before the shadow person appears. She kind of makes a sigh, but there's also like a shrieking noise or something at the same time. Third of all, these orbs appear when she tries to tell Kevin about the experience. Who's back there? I waited. I saw someone walk back there. Next, they go to the balcony seats, and a strange feeling overtakes April at 7 minutes and 27 seconds. Here up here, guys. This strange white anomaly appears two seconds after she says she doesn't feel normal up here. It does look like a floating hair, but it also kind of looks like a phantom outline walking down the steps. The feeling grows so strong that she needs to step away and regather her thoughts. She turns around and is sure she's being watched again, and I'm almost sure I see the curtains move right where she believes it to be. Guys, it feels really weird. Right here. Just 
Chelsea's doing her um, opera's down there. When AK Explorations aren't exploring fancy operas, they are usually busy investigating much less sophisticated haunts, like this chicken farm in the middle of nowhere. Eyes are on them from afar before they've even stepped foot inside, hopefully those of a wild animal rather than a restless spirit, though probably the latter based on what they soon encounter. Middle of the night, by ourselves. April immediately feels watched as they enter the abandoned home. She turns around and her light barely manages to catch more eyes, along with whatever this is. Sorry, I heard something behind me. It's a different color than the surrounding green plants, and it looks much closer than anything else, possibly even on the porch with her. She doesn't notice and moves on. Inside, all of the windows are blacked out so that no light gets through. Though I don't know why anyone would choose to do this, and I was hoping you might have a reason for it. In the corner of the living room is a knotted rope surrounded by flies. I don't know what happened here, but I'm glad they didn't check to see what's inside the black garbage bag right next to the rope. Next, April and Kevin sweep over the house with a black light to see if there are any signs of a struggle. Sure enough, at 10 minutes and 33 seconds, they find a red stain on the bed that is not visible without their equipment. A second similar red stain is found on the mattress at 10 minutes and 42 seconds, so something happened here. A noise interrupts April right as she suspects someone could still be in here. Do you hear that? I'll admit that I didn't hear anything at first, but soon a strange hum fills the air. This house has no power, so nothing should be humming at all. You really hear it at 11 minutes and 30 seconds. Babe, come here. Oh, come here, let's go here. The noise guides them to one room in particular. Something in their mind tells them not to go any further. A sixth sense warning that danger is near. April reasons that the floor might not be able to support their weight, but I'm pretty sure they felt the presence of whatever this is. Is this just, do you think it's safe to walk on? It's a noise they do not hear until they watch the video much later. Looking back, all they knew was that it was time to leave. When strange things start happening inside your house, it's probably for a reason. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by the Dude 101 this video was originally published to YouTube by Truthfinder30330 in April of 2020. According to the title, Paranormal occurrences have been happening in this man's home. The first odd thing you notice is that when the man walks into his living room, the door is shut while he's arranging his gaming console and things on his entertainment center. The door opens somehow. He heads over to look outside and check it out. After finding no one, he returns inside and the door slams shut. He goes back outside, but there's no one there, no one inside either. As he's looking around outside again, the door slams shut and he's locked out. He peers inside, but there appears to be nothing. Now he has to go around to get back inside his house. He lifts his camera, catching himself in the sights while also capturing something over his shoulder. What is that? As he continues walking, he says hello to someone on the street. He's at his front door again, which he unlocks with a key, and immediately this happens. Absolutely terrifying. Bet you can't handle this video. Thank you so much for getting me to 30,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 40,000 subscribers next. Thank you.